leaders living in the suburbs, what do they know about what Gentiles really think about Jews? There's only one place, it's not at some dinner. An Avery dinner, where black tie Jew meets black tie Gentile. They sit and exchange jokes, 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 and clack, you don't clack, 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 clack. <laughs> Only one place, a bar, a bar, a working class neighborhood bar. That's where you hear America singing. That's where when the stops goes in, that's where you hear what comes out. The hatred of it, the jealousy of the Jews. The Jews run the, run the country, they run Congress, Israel runs the world. Go home. Especially you. Young people here. What are you doing here? <laughs> this summer, go to Israel. Go to Israel. A yeshiva. Find it, find a yeshiva. Whether you know something, nothing, find a yeshiva. Try it. If you don't like it, drop it. If you like it, stay there. And write to your parents and say, I'm home, I'm, I'm staying here. Your parents won't be happy. Not the first time you haven't made it happen, but this time for something good. <laughs> Not, but this time for something good. Stay there. You don't have to. And not every Jew has to have a PhD. Every Jew a PhD. <laughs> not every Jew has to be a doctor, a lawyer, a CPA. You can learn a trade. You can, you can be a farmer. You, you can plant a tree. You can learn to work with your hands. Get married. Have a dozen children. <laughs> we owe Hitler two million babies. Pay them back in interest. <laughs> and live on a settlement in the Sharon, in Yuda. Live on a settlement there. And then, 30 years from now, when you're sitting with your grandchildren, talking Hebrew, and telling them about Ekshayaz, how it was then, when you first came. Now it's a town, and your grandchildren look up at you and say, he's a Saba, he's a Safta. What a grandfather, what a grandmother. Then you know what being Jewish is, and what Jewish enough is, and what Jewish joy is. Get out of the graveyard. Go home. God has given us the greatest of all blessings. We waited 2,000 years for it. A home. What are we doing here?